Hey, hello, howdy, how you doing? Welcome back to another Project Zomboid video. Last episode, we recovered from a second heli event and managed to finally get into the military surplus store inside the mall, coming away with a couple weapons and a considerably small amount of ammo. Today, we're going to put those weapons to the test and see just how much damage we can do in a relatively large part of the city. You see, the power is out now, and I need a generator magazine to get this place up and running again. I also need some more skill books for carpentry so that I can finally build gates for my compound. With all that being said, today we're going to go raid the public library in our epic quest for knowledge. The plan here is way more simple than most people would ever like it to be, because I find that making convoluted plans only works until you step outside of your base and have to actually interact with the world. Truth is, I have no idea how many zombies are out here, but I do know that the bookstore has a great chance of having what I need, and it gives me an excuse to shoot some guns. All in all, this can be broken down into a three-step process. This is step one! Get to the bookstore either by car or on foot. Preferably by vehicle, but let's be real, it's probably much easier, albeit slower, on foot. What is step two? Loot the bookstore. I don't need much, really just the generator magazine, but it'd be nice to actually come away with this with the skill books needed to farm some levels like first aid and carpentry. Three. Get home. I know, much, much easier said than done, but that's why we keep it simple. We'll figure out the nitty gritty elements later. For now, just enjoy the chaos. The only predicament I have right now is that I only have 8 boxes of shotgun shells, which is like 200 shells. It may sound like a lot, and maybe it is in Riverside or Rosewood, but out here, it's not even enough to clear a neighborhood, let alone one of the main roads in Louisville. I was able to get to the library pretty easily by car, but the amount of zombies around is actually insane. I tried to get some use out of the shotgun, but it was obvious that it wasn't going to get the job done. I wanted to avoid using molotovs, but that very quickly became the only way I was going to be able to clear out even a block of this area. I'll let a lot of this play out so you can witness the absolute shitstorm that is Louisville on insane population after a month of building up the peak multiplier. This was super intense and stress inducing to say the least. I don't think I've ever been in the situation in Zomboid where there are this many zombies in a cell before, so I fell back on my years of COD zombie training and began kiting hordes around. This only worked in a couple instances though, as there were just too many zombies to handle. If I was able to group up 500, another 500 would appear behind me. At this point, with fire spreading, I really just relied on that to do the work for me, and focused on dodging as many zombies as I could. And one of the things that's definitely easier said than done, for sure. I did find myself almost constantly sprinting to avoid being encircled, which was stressing me out as well since I know my fitness level isn't all that high, and that plays a factor into how quickly I become exerted, and if I become exerted here, I might as well just lay down and die and let the hordes do their thing. Thank <laughs> you. 
Well, I lit the library on fire. Kinda figured this was gonna happen, but it still sucks because that was the only objective for the day. If I'm lucky, maybe I can salvage a bookshelf or two and keep it moving. After spending the entire day baiting around thousands of zombies and ultimately doing more harm than good, I saw a potential exit and took my chance. After getting the van started, I tried to pull zombies together so that the fire would spread before looping around and heading east. Now the library is complete ash, I turn to another POI, being the library inside the mall. I'm still expecting a ton of zombies there, but it should be easier than what I'm trying to do right now. Now surprisingly, at least to me, the mall was more clear than I was expecting, but there were still a few hundred zombies or so in the main area. I initially tried to just keep pulling the zombies out by shouting and then baiting them out the front door, but eventually a walking ball of fire made its way over and the rest is history. I figured this would be a good time as any to use the shotgun in order to pull in more zombies and just keep the fireball rolling. The best thing about this is, after dealing with the streets of Louisville, this is a walk in the park. By 5am the next morning, I was able to get inside the mall, which felt strangely empty now. I've logged a little over 7500 kills at this point, over doubling where I was at just 24 hours ago. Anyway, with no zombies left to interrupt me, I looted the library, walking away with the rest of the carpentry books I needed, most of the first aid books, a ton of recipe magazines, and no generator mag. 
A little depressing, but we'll figure something out. At this point, I've been roaming for a day now, and I'm out of food, almost out of water, and running out of vitamins, so I began the journey back to my safe house. Along the way, I managed to find a sledgehammer on the ground outside of a workstation, so I scooped that up and made it back to base safely. I spent the rest of the day taking a small break from combat. I read all the recipe magazines that I'd gathered from the mall, and rebuilt the walls that the zombies had broken down during the heli event. This actually took some time since I had to cut down more trees to fill in the gaps, but other than that, I just enjoyed the peace for a day. The next morning, I set out for a nearby bookstore on foot. I figured there'd be a couple clusters to clear there, but made a stupid decision and grouped them into what ended up being two hordes that I just kept bouncing back and forth between. Eventually, I got a small opening and I was able to quickly peruse the fantasy adventure sections of the bookstore, which unfortunately did not hold the generator magazine. After my time was up, I narrowly escaped out the back door. And headed back to base where I was greeted by a group of zombies who broke down one of my garage doors. At this point, I'm not sure where else to look, so I just started going door to door through the neighborhood in the west, which ended up turning into more of a looting run since I came back with a backpack full of canned foods and then some, but still no generator mag. After waking up the following morning, I walked over to the apartments and just spam shouted to pull any nearby zombies out. After the area was all clear, I started by going door to door again, looking for the generator mech, which I finally found, ironically, in the first apartment that I looted. Now that that's taken care of, I can go refuel all of my cars. All I need to do is actually clear out the gas station. I spent basically the entire day just walking down the road in that direction, checking out any zombie groups that I came across. I will say though, I'm starting to really feel like I'm doing some damage with short blunt weapons. There were a couple stretches throughout the day where I either two tapped or one shotted like 5 or 6 zombies in a row, and that's going to be one of the most satisfying moments in Zomboid.
As I came up to the Finnegan Research Group building, I got to witness an Apple Factory moment when the zombies were throwing themselves off the roof to try and escape. Eventually, I bit off a little more than I could chew, and tried to retreat back to the compound. I thought I had gotten away, until I turned around and got to watch like 200 zombies press their faces through the fence. After resting for an hour or so, I had the genius idea to load up an M14 and head back out onto the road. This went about as well as you'd expect, and within a couple hours, I'd amassed a horde of what I can only guesstimate was around 1500 zombies. I took advantage of the zombie AI pathing here and looped them around before dipping through a couple buildings where they could inevitably all group up at since that triggered my last seen location to all of them. I spent all of the next day regaining all the ground that I'd lost from the zombies spilling out of Finnegan's. Normally I'd show all the combat here, but it's literally like 45 minutes straight of combat, so I'll show some of the larger hordes and we'll move on. Sound like a deal? Alright, sweet, let's go.
and I was hoping I'd be able to reach the gas station yesterday, but here we are. That was the goal for today though, and although we still have a ways to go, and even once we clear out the zombies, I'll still have to come back, grab the generator, and do that entire setup process. One thing I kept thinking about was the potential to find another generator, so that I could leave one at the gas station and another at my base. There's a self-storage POI near me that I can hit up now that I have a sledgehammer, so I'll have to head over there at some point. There's also an abandoned car lot nearby that I can use for spare parts. Or I could grind out some skills and unlock the ability to hotwire cars and just take my favorites. We'll figure something out eventually though. For now, I just wanted to focus on getting to the gas station. One thing that I'm noticing that's beginning to drive me nuts as well is how much of a performance issue that bloodstains can cause. Even with it set to low, the sheer amount of zombies being beaten and stabbed to death, no disrespect to Jeffrey Dahmer, the bloodstains are starting to mount up, which is causing me to drop frames. Now, I don't like to brag about specs or anything, but I do have a pretty beefy PC, so when this shit happens, it's kind of like, alright, well I guess I'm being penalized for doing a good job. Alright, rant over. On August 15th, after getting an early start to the day and spending my entire morning working through all of the zombies in the area, I finally reached the gas station. From there, it was only a few hours of clearing out the nearby zombie groupings. While heading back to base to recover, I did get hit by a roaming horde that threatened to, once again, undo all of my progress. And because of this, I spent the rest of the day clearing out the zombies that had wandered over. At this point, I can reach the gas station and can safely walk there now with the generator as long as no hordes wander over from the west. In the span of just a few days, I've gone from under 3,000 kills to 8,400 zombies killed, almost tripling where we were at last episode. I've also leveled up some more skills, and it looks like I'm nearing the halfway point of getting fitness to level 6. 
All in all, this was probably my most productive episode. Even with how painstaking these past couple days have been, having to clear out this road on foot with melee weapons and an M14 that, in all honesty, did way more harm than good. A very special thank you to all my YouTube members who make it possible for me to do this gig at least part-time and hopefully someday full-time. I appreciate you all. And as always, thanks for stopping by.